today let's talk about budget planners. So I know this is not the usual content for my channel. Uh, you often see me daily plan in my pocket moleskin, in my Hobonichi A6, in my A5 planner, things like that. Um, and uh, I know that often budget planning is its own kind of animal and people dedicate their channels just to that. But the truth is our lives are full of things we are trying to organize, keep going and plan. And budget is one of those things. Um, yes, I do plan my days as far as my tasks and things that I want to do and memory keep in my journals and planners but I also try to plan my budget for the week for the month and so on um, have some monetary plans try to save money uh, you know put money aside for big events and things like that and I know we're in April not exactly the time when people start doing things but I often feel kind of reinvigorated in spring and I start doing certain things and projects in April May I don't know I just feel extra energy and that is what happened with me kind of rekindling my love for budgeting so I've been budgeting and keeping track of my expenses for many many years now at one point in my life I ended up in a lot of debt because of a family member and I just had to kind of hunker down and pay off those debts even though they were not mine there were a lot of them and at that time I was actually on pretty low pay so I've been through it done that and I know that I have tools and understanding how to do it but in the last I want to say decade or more I've been pretty good with my money and I would track everything in Excel I love my Excel but with last two three years everything kind of got out of whack as far as the habits are, as far as the expenses are, and I found myself that I don't have as much grip on my budget as I used to have, and me as a Capricorn, I like to have order and order with my money specifically. So to help myself, even though I love Excel and I still keep track of all of my expenses in my Excel spreadsheets, I kind of felt that in this season in my life, I need something different to help me out, to keep it top of my mind, to keep it kind of more in front of my eyes, because as you know, things on computer are kind of out of sight, out of mind. So I decided to turn to paper because I love paper and paper just makes everything better, doesn't it? <laughs> so what I did is I went out there and as I love to do, did my research to all of the planners and tools and printables and all the things that are available today. Uh, let me tell you, there are way more things available today than when I first got into heavy duty budgeting but i knew that i wanted to have some kind of a planner to have it organized have it you know in front of me being able to write things in scratch things out you know try things out so because i haven't been budgeting on paper i decided to get a budget planner that's already pre-printed pre-arranged and ready to go so then i don't have to be overwhelmed with what should i put in there how should i track it I watched million videos on YouTube about budgeting based on paycheck, based on a month, um, you know, based on cash and envelopes and all that jazz. And I will link to some of my favorite channels in my description down below. But while I was looking through a bunch of paper planners, I kind of had the parameters for myself. First of all, as I'm trying to pay off certain debts and save some money, I didn't want to spend even more money or especially exuberant amount of money on my budgeting tools because that's kind of defeat the whole purpose. So off to Amazon I went. As you can imagine on Amazon there are so many different budget planners and after looking through I want to say 15 of them I noticed that a lot of them have basically same layout uh, or like 90% same layout uh, some of them literally look like exactly same planner with different covers under different companies for example I believe Clever Fox and Legend Planner are the same company because the inside of the planner is exactly the same and the pricing on planners that are very similar to each other vastly different so do your own research so then you don't overpay for something that can be found uh, for a lower price again up to you of course another thing that i kept in mind is because i didn't know if i would like a certain layout over time i didn't want to buy a very expensive planner either um, even though i've seen a lot of really cool planners but they were uh, 35 45 60 dollars and they were often year-long planners and i didn't know if i will stick to that particular layout for that long so i decided to give a layout 
um, I tried through the most affordable way possible and one of them was this budget planner so this budget planner here um, as I mentioned I did my research on Amazon so this one did come from Amazon the thing I love about it the most is the color this turquoise is everything you guys know me me and my blues plus you know when you deal with money you need to kind of calm down you know <laughs> so I really like this one because a um, few things I like about it is, is the size so this is basically a5 uh, it has coil so you can open it and keep it flat without you know pushing it down you can turn it inside out kind of thing so I really like that uh, with the book that you you know I knew were gonna spend some time in I wanted to be able to lay it flat um, I like uh, that it had elastic enclosure to keep it closed so it doesn't open and get mushed up inside I really appreciated the fact that it had a pen loop here and it's an elastic pen loop so you can put bigger smaller pen I really just liked how simple it was it was not like overwhelming branding or anything like that so let's look inside so when you open it opens really easily as you can see the cover is very sturdy really good quality uh, opens up easily doesn't get stuck how a lot of coil based planners do uh, oh before i forget uh i think this one was like 12 dollars or less so i mean it was very inexpensive i will put links to it down below but that was one of the inexpensive ones that i could also see what's done with a thought um, and here there is a little introduction to it of uh, you know what kind of technology it's based on as far as you know like the mind work behind budgeting so i appreciated that it has some um, qr codes to get more information this is eric wilson who created it and then once you go inside the planner it's basically the same just repeating as you can imagine uh, budget planners uh, they all kind of done the same when you have a set of layouts that then repeat for every month so when you open it uh, you have for every month you have this monthly plan uh, this thing is completely undated which was another thing that i really loved because i was starting literally like right in the middle of the quarter so i wanted to be able to write in whatever month it was rather than basically losing two three months of the year so as you can see you can write what the month is and then you write out your monthly goals uh, you know i want to pay off this much debt or i want to save this much money or I want to, I don't know, experience whatever. Uh, then you have a checklist and it's kind of like, for example, in April it was, you know, don't forget to pay taxes, uh, you know, put aside money for this, you know, stuff like that, you know, you know what checklist is. <laughs> um, then uh, on this side, you have a lines for your income. So I like that it has more than, you know, two or three lines because a lot of people get paid weekly. So you have plenty of space here for four paychecks and then, uh, one or two more uh, kinds of income uh, on this side you have a place for savings so you just basically write down when you put stuff into savings uh, you know it may be once a month it can be every week you know it depends on what you decide to do then here you have your kind of like a monthly summary of how much you made how much you saved and uh, what your budget was and then you write down like your upcoming purchases upcoming bills kind of like keep in mind especially if you have something annual that's about to renew or if you have like an annual uh, insurance or registration things like that's very useful and uh, on this side you have a uh, more breakdown and this one is based on categories of your expenses so you have your household so two different ones so basically these uh, I know some people prefer that this wouldn't be filled out at all but I like that it's somewhat filled out but not all of it right you have large categories and then inside you can just write out what you decide to so on the household you can have your rent you can have your utilities you can have your repairs you can have your house insurance you know things like that uh, under food obviously I don't have to explain your transportation you can have your car maintenance here you can have your gas here uh, things like that, you know, uh, tokens for the toll if you, you know, have to drive across the bridge or something like that. Under healthcare, you know, you can have your uh, monthly insurance or copays or dental or eyes, whatever. Um, entertainment, of course, you know, movies, theater, something like that. Uh, any kind of loans and then others like if you're repaying for example credit cards or if you uh, love buying books or if you have memberships something like that and then you also total what you budgeted what you actually spend and then you calculate the difference so this is really cool for you to kind of keep track of um, you know what you plan to spend and did you actually stick to it or not 
and then here you have daily expense tracker so yes you have categories here but there's a grand total after you're done for the month but on a daily basis as you buy things as you expand you know money you basically will write down what data was what it was that you spent what category and these categories basically will be the categories from here and then uh, you have one two three four pages for that which i think is excellent um and it's kind of cool uh because um first when i was looking at planners i thought oh i think two pages will be enough but then when i was uh doing you know kind of trial run i actually ran out of pages and end up i think with three and a half pages and i thought that four pages is actually a really good amount and also what is cool you can kind of play a game with yourself to um, be able to fit on like less pages with each month or every quarter or each quarter you know so like for example oh this month i filled out like all four pages with my expenses let me see if i can get them down to three and a half to three two and a half and so on so just you know gamifying it with yourself and then after that you have the review so after your month is over you go through uh, what balance you had especially if you had any balance from last month it can be a positive balance like you had some money rolled over or unfortunately you might be in a minus right so you kind of like brought that kind of a short shortage into this month how much you made this month how much you know you end up spending and what your difference is and then how much you saved and in the end you have your balance and that's the balance will go forward to the next month Again, you can be in positive, you have extra money, you can roll over, or you unfortunately can be in the minus. And you know, that's basically what these planners are for, to work on the goal of not being in that kind of situation. And then here to reaffirm yourself, you're gonna write what your biggest wins were. Um, if you met budget, yes, if no, why not? Um, also, what did you learn and how you can improve? So, you know, like uh, it, it's your basic goal setting, right? But it's just with the focus on your money. So I really appreciate that kind of thought behind it rather than just having like, oh, you have a bunch of trackers and then your categories. It also has like a little bit of a mind work on how to do better next month. And I also appreciate that they have this uh, just dot grid page here for any notes. You can uh, work out some math here for next month. You can jot down ideas or like a bigger to-do list. For example, on my to-do list is to destash a lot of my things. I have a certain covers that I want to destash and sell. I also have a lot of yarn because I also have a um, crochet shop. So I want to destash a lot of that. So sell that and put that money, you know, into savings. So things like that that you can use this for. I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. And then you have a next month. So as you can see, it's very simple. Uh, I believe this one is, yeah, I think it's a year's worth. Um, very simple very straightforward I like the color scheme it's very soothing I do like that they use very simple straightforward font um, as much as planners with like curly or uh, at least fonts look cute I find that with my eyes I saw this just going down the drain um, sometimes it's difficult for me um, to like focus on what the word says so i appreciate what planners have just regular type very straightforward and this kind of what this planner has right it has nice easy to read font with this really calming you know minty kind of a blue uh, seagrass kind of a color and um, i just think it's really lovely and really well put together uh, good quality uh, very straightforward and very useful and of course size is so light and um, sturdy at the same time really easy to take along just throw it in your purse or have it by your you know at your desk or your bedside to kind of like write in your expenses for the day or if you're on the go you know to have it in your purse and jot down things as you spend um, i believe it has a pocket here in the back which is excellent because then if you have any receipts and if you didn't have a chance to write things into your planner you can just shove the receipts in there and then at night take them out and then uh, you know write them out in your tracker and have them tracked that way and in the back pocket here this is the band that came with the planner so this is a re golden book and then um, it had a little chart here that basically explains you how this planner works what each layout is for and how to use them which order so really neat um, really well put together planner again very inexpensive especially for what it offers for the quality um, again a really really nice book I recommend it and I will put link in the description but down below so I started with it but then what happened is this planner is such a good size to take along but because i do have a bigger handwriting and i kind of want it to be a little bit more substantial this size ended up 
kind of limiting to me it's too small uh, maybe in the future as i kind of iron out my budget more i can just uh, jot things down real quick it will not bother me but for this season of my life when i'm like getting into budgeting and trying to find my system i decided that i definitely need something bigger so in came in this large disc bound planner so let me explain you why i went with this specific size and this specific system so i've had disc bound planners for a while um, i usually use the small one a happy planner uh, this one is based on the same system but it is not a happy planner this particular cover is from martha stewart collection so i looked into these hard covers and i tried to find different ones um, i saw uh, the really nice one on the organized money's uh, youtube channel uh, i believe it was from tool but when i tried to look for one for me i couldn't find one that i like and they were also I believe a little bit pricey tool in general is a little bit pricey and then i saw this kind of cover on somebody else's channel i will try to remember which channel it was it was a while ago i've had this cover for about two years i want to say maybe and i loved it because it's very calm it's actual fabric uh, glued on a heavy carton and then what i loved about it the most is that it has the elastic to enclosure usually you don't find elastic on this kind of planners on this size right so this particular cover is basically happy planner big right so this is eight and a half by eleven so there were a few things behind the thought process of why i decided to get this planner and this size first one i wanted to be a big as i said i want to be able to see <laughs> the titles on the page i want to be able to like really write out things without trying to cram them into small cells and in addition to that i wanted to be able to print my own inserts um, not necessarily the ones i make but the ones that i purchase i didn't want to have a preset pre-printed kind of inserts like hp has i wanted to be able to go to different etsy shops find the layout that speaks to me and be able to test them out and see if they work for me or not and for that I pick the big size because it's eight and a half by 11. So I knew that it'll be easy as pie. I would just grab regular printer, sheet of paper, print whatever I need, you know, punch out the holes and put it in. I didn't have to cut anything down the way it is with the classic size because as wonderful as classic size is, it's smaller, but it's still big enough. The size of the paper is not standard. That means I would have to cut down every printable, every insert that I've ever had for it, unless of course I bought it from uh, HP themselves. So I decided to just make my life easier to remove kind of every obstacle I would have, um, you know, in this journey of getting back into budgeting and doing paper budgeting. So I decided I'm not gonna drag this thing around with me. It's gonna stay at home, it's gonna stay on my desk. It doesn't need to be smaller so I can carry it. It needs to be actually bigger so I can write on it, you know, kind of brainstorm my tactics and strategies on this whole money thing. So I went with that. So as I mentioned, this cover is by Martha Stewart. I love it. It's a really nice feel. Um, it is a fabric, as you can see, it's literally stitched with a sewing machine, uh, but I believe it has probably a fab uh, fabric protector cover uh, because it doesn't get dirty so i think it's probably kind of sprayed so it doesn't get dirty i mean of course i've never spilled anything on it because i don't want to go there i really like this cover and then for the rings it came with rings it, the rings were plastic i think uh i don't want to say i want to say one inch size uh what i did is because i was initially planning to use it for um book planning and things like that and courses there were a lot of pages so i went ahead and bought uh hp extender discs as you can see these are really big and these are metal ones because i was worried that with the number of pages and the weight of the cover i didn't want them to crack or break so these are pretty heavy in themselves they are metal and then uh, as far as the inside let's open it so on the inside um the cover i like that it opens up uh, pretty easily also um, one of the reasons I got the extender metal discs because metal discs are thinner um, as far as the way they made the lip and so the cover and pages to me glide a little bit easier than with the regular rings but no here not there um, I've heard kind of different things from different people I just knew that um, I've seen people crack the rings one of my pla personal planners this ring broke because of notebook was going in and out of the backpack 
I didn't want to run into that. I didn't want to end up with one ring short <laughs> and then had to like re-put it in. So I'm glad I got these metal extenders and I'm going to put link to them as well. So as far as inside, uh, I believe it already had this clear frosted pocket in here. Uh, this little uh, tab came from uh, the little uh, HP Mini. Uh, it came with its own stickers and I just basically popped them into here to use them as tabs because they are super sticky, super small, but you can write on them. This one you know, has checkers, this one has lines, so I think they're really useful. And then I also bought a set of matching dividers. These are also from Martha Stewart. I love her brand because she carries the colors that I love, which are like these beachy calm like minty colors and as you can see this one is like this nice turquoise this one is like minty green uh, cream and then dark gray light gray so they're really nice so this is um, so I bought them at the same time I bought this cover again I don't know if they're available at the moment I'll look for them and I'll put links to whatever I can find um, I've had this cover for a while now and part of my kind of a budget journey I decided that I'm gonna use whatever I already have uh, yes I know I just told you that I bought a little planner but it was literally like I think ten dollars <laughs> but for the most part I've, I'm trying to like bring back more of my habits kind of like um, no spend things like that we'll see how that goes so now inside here um, there are several things the budget planner right now takes up these two particular tabs and then after that are my business and learning and uh, taking courses kind of things but because budget is what I'm focusing on right now I decided to dedicate two tabs here first one is annual and then uh, the green one here the second one is monthly basis so basically whatever is in here will stay here and this one I keep kind of like three months rotating I don't want it to get too bulky so as I finish a third month I will take first one out and put blank one in so uh, as far as the inserts that I'm using here um, as I mentioned, I went all over YouTube watching a different budgeting videos. I know there are like the budget mom uh, inserts that are really popular, uh, but because she does have a, a big focus on like the cash envelopes and stuff like that, I, I don't think I'm ready for her system yet. I just want something very straightforward. Um, also, I want something with like the lightest least deco and like the most straightforward font i could find um so i found several budget planners on etsy that i really like and i bought a thing about three of them they were very inexpensive printables and then i kind of went through them compared how they're similar or different to each other and then i settled basically in the end on one of them and that's the one i have in here so what i did because um, one of them that I settled on, I bought actually two different sets to kind of like find the forms that are really like and were relevant to me. Um, and those come in like PDFs that have like dozens and dozens of pages and I didn't use all of them. To not confuse myself and not to have to go through that process every month, what I did is I printed out just the pages that I'm going to be using. I marked them with which packet they came from and then what uh, kind of a folder file and what page they were on. And then I also marked with the A if it was an annual section and if it was monthly section that I put it as an M here and that's what I did. So this is basically a note here what to print. So this is my like a guide to when I'm printing next month or next year. So for the annual I have one that says financial goals and this is basically for the whole year as you can imagine. You know so I wrote what I can what I want to do uh, as far as money in this year you know pay off debts, save money, uh, put money aside for uh, you know travel things like that um, you know what steps I have to take for each of these goals so there's one two three goals here I will link um, I will put link down below to this particular insert I really like how it's very light uh, it comes in all different colors but they're all pastels I just printed them in black and white to just a save ink and be just the least I, I don't like when it's too colorful because for me numbers are like I don't know they need some peace <laughs> So that's just me. Then the next one under annual ones is yearly overview. And all this one is, is every month after you're done with the month, you write in what your income was for that month, how many bills, expenses, and savings. And then uh, here they said that, but I wrote it out that I'm going to save word balance here because I want to see what I was left with in the end. And this is what I'm talking about kind of, right? Um, even though uh, 
there are different budget inserts out there and when you look at them a lot of times they're really similar but once you start using them you find that okay this part of it works for me but this one doesn't for example bills and expenses to me everything is expense so I think in the next year or I might rework it for myself and just say expenses and then here I will have you know something else it's it's a work in progress anyway so then for every month you're gonna do that and then in the end of the year you can see what your grand total was how much you made in a year how much you spent how much you saved and what you were, were left with hopefully you were left with some extra money <laughs> Um, so the next one in the annual is upcoming expenses. So that's basically kind of like a calendar and then um, In one of the inserts that I bought I really like the way they had that one. They had like a uh, An amount and a date. Um, this one doesn't have it So I just wrote dollar sign and basically created I just dropped this column by hand um, To basically say okay, this expense will be in April on this date and it'll be the amount that's coming up and then also you have a debt tracker. So this is, I printed it twice for two of the credit cards that I'm trying to pay off. Um, and it's basically the same one. It's just what your debt is. So it can be for any debt. It can be a mortgage, right? Car, uh, personal loans, things like that. I just have two credit cards that I want to zero out. And then, you know, it has space for it to write out what date it is. Uh, if you want to keep track of your account um, and user ID, stuff like that, password, which obviously I'm not going to do. But then what your minimum payment, what your end balance is things like that and then basically it has enough lines for a year for you to write in every month how much you paid and like any kind of additional notes and like i said then one more just like that and then you have a bill tracker so this one is kind of another version of your calendar kind of a thing right uh, but just in a different format you write out what your bills are you know your standard bills like your car your car insurance your gas electric whatever and what date they usually due on uh, how much and then it has january february march so basically a bubble for every month and as you go you can bubble them in and this way you don't miss any of them because you literally visually you know it represented here you can see if this particular bill was paid for this particular month or not so I think it's pretty cool and then you have uh, just like you have the uh, expense tracker you have income tracker this one has enough lines for a bi-weekly uh, check so basically 26 lines of course if you get weekly checks you just print this one many more times as you need if you have income coming from different sources of course then you can print even more of these and then so you can basically uh, write them all in and that's one of the reasons why I like printable uh, planners rather than planners that are pre-filled because sometimes as much as you try you cannot design a planner that will work literally for like every single person some people end up with too many empty lines some people end up with not enough lines or not enough pages but when you're dealing with printables you can print as many or as little pages that you need and then after that we have a subscription tracker very important especially in this day and age where there is subscription for everything uh, this can be your Audible, you can be your Kindle subscription, it can also be your subscription for all of your streaming services. It can be subscriptions that are monthly, it can be subscriptions that are annual. With a lot of businesses switching to the subscription model, it's really easy to lose track of all the subscriptions that you have. Um, so here you have a space for monthlies, you have quarterly, then it says quarterly again, I think they probably meant annual. For example, I have several annual subscriptions, I have subscription for my yoga app, I have subscription for Duolingo, I have subscription from Grammarly, all of those are annual and it's often you kind of forget what is this extra you know fifty dollars, sixty dollars, things like that. Oh that's my annual one that I kind of forgot, right? So once you keep the track of them and you know which month and which date they renew you kind of keep an eye on it and budget for that. Of course you can also uh, create what they call sinking funds when you kind of like every month you put money aside for it and then when it's due you basically just move money and pay for it. But that's just you know that's down the line. But uh, I really like this one. You can bubble it in, you can kind of keep an eye on it and remember oh yeah I have the subscription and it's coming up. And another one that's really useful is a donation tracker. So I donate in different ways to different organizations, some in cash, some of them in like physical items. And I know that as we just went through a tax season, gathering all those receipts and remembering who it donated and what, uh, it's always kind of like a headache. So I was glad that they had this tracker here. So then I can write down, you know, what I donated to which organization, how much it was and on which date. So then when tax season comes around again, I'll I'll just 
have this ready to go. All right, so we're done with the annual ones and next ones are monthly. So let me actually show them inside the book so it's not so awkward. So as I mentioned, I keep three months worth of monthly uh, pages here. I want to be able to see the month before and then current month and month forward. Uh, the reason I like that is because uh, I can see the history. I can see my trends. It's kind of a reminder of what did I do last month or how did I mark something down or how did I calculate it, especially as, as I'm still getting used to this this kind of a uh, budget planning. So having previous month helps me out to see, oh, what color did they use to mark out, if, for example, eating out, or what color did they use for utility? Which one of the categories did I use for this kind of expense? So it's really helpful. And then of course, having the following month is helpful because if you notice some expenses coming up and you can note it already going forward, so then when you arrive to that month, a lot of your expenses that are regular already be there so you don't forget about them. So here's the month of May, which is next month. It's still empty, so I'm going to show you basically what these inserts have. So the ones that I decide to keep in here and not to overwhelm myself are monthly calendar, um, you know, self-explanatory. Uh, this whole planner was undated, which is excellent because then again, I can start it whenever I want. I can use it and over and over for all the years to come. Um, they do have months stated, but that's it. So year, I wrote the year is this, and then I will write in the dates. And there are also goals for the specific month. You just write in what you want to focus on. Uh, the following page is to-do list. Again, uh, my to-do list can be, uh, you know, list uh, the stash and list certain things on eBay or uh, don't forget to pay this annual blah blah. Uh, it can be money related to do. Uh, that's what I'm going to keep it because I have regular planner for regular to do's. Then next one. So they have uh, several ways the budget is being tracked here. Um, again, I'm still trying out to see which are going to stick with and which are repetitive to me. So this one is very similar to the little planner that I just showed you where they have uh, categories here. Um, the main categories are filled in and subcategories are not. So you can put in whatever you need in there. So this one is housing, personal, food, loans, health, entertainment, transportation, and other very similar layout. And then here you have the month, three letter months specified here. So you just circle what month you're in and then you just write in, you know, under housing, okay, rent, uh, property tax, uh, property insurance. Um, I don't know, fix the, the jam door, something like that. Then you have another budget tracker, but just slightly different uh, layout. So this one, I think is kind of more familiar to people too. You have income sources here. Again, I like that it's more than two lines. Um, you write what your gross income, what your net income is. I don't know if that's really necessary. Maybe when you are uh, earning money in your business, so you know you have like net and gross. Uh, if you're just getting pay paycheck, you'll just write what you got, you know, in your paycheck kind of thing. But again, it's up for use and you know kind of like interpretation <laughs> um, then you have your fixed expenses variable expenses so your fixed expenses are basically expenses that repeat every month and you are um, you cannot kind of get away from that so that will be your rent or your mortgage it will be uh, your uh, gas bill for like uh, heating it will be your water it will be your electric it will be your car loan if you have one car insurance things like that it's kind of like they're always there and that will be forever <laughs> hopefully not for all of them uh, and they're very similar in amount and then of course your variable expenses uh, everything else you have your food you have your clothing you have your medical so stuff like that that uh, one can argue well food is also kind of fixed because it happens every month but sometimes uh, some months you spend a this amount and some months you spend like twice as much right because you may have like a party or you've been away for vacation and you didn't buy any groceries. So that's why they're kind of variable. Again, it's up to you where you put which one makes sense. There are no like, you know, budgeting page police. <laughs> you can put them wherever you feel like. Uh, for example, um, my recurring um, Audible expense, I can say it's fixed because it's every month the same amount. But because it's not like important for life, I can say, or oh, maybe it's a variable expense and I'll just put it here. And under fixed expenses, I'm going to put all the important things like rent, car insurance, power and uh, gas bills, water bills, and that's it. That's all I'm going to have here. And here going to be kind of everything else because then I'll know that these I will keep. And if I need to cut any expenses, it's going to be from this list. 
and just like with the other page you have your grand totals you know to to add up all the income and expenses and savings and then see the difference and at the top again you have your month you just circle the month and here's a space for your year and then after that you have a paycheck budget so uh and as i said i've gone through a lot of videos and a lot of them are based on a paycheck you know unfortunately proverbial living paycheck to paycheck and as much as i've always tracked my budget month to month and kind of averaging out that whole annual uh, income i found that i probably will end up just going by paycheck model for now until i stabilize uh, my ins and outs and then see which method i like so basically this planner gives you the page for your paycheck and then you print as many as you need right if you get paid weekly you pr uh, print four or five uh, or if you get bi-weekly you print two or three like last month I end up three paychecks and then this month I have two so I printed two for this month three for previous ones and I was not you know I didn't end up with the planner that's pre-printed where I have I don't have enough pages or I have too many. So again, I like that about a printable planners that you, you know, print whatever you need for yourself. And on this particular page, the format is very similar between different planners because, you know, in the end, it, it's all same idea, right? You write out uh, what your bills are, what your expenses are that you are covering with this specific paycheck, right? Within that time period. And then you have what you put into savings for that time, what you put in an investment, if any, um, any kind of debts that you repaid. And then you basically grab your income subtract bills expenses savings investments and debt and you see what your remaining is and you basically roll that over to the next month and then i've printed another paycheck budget here because this is for me and then made there are two paychecks at least for me again same thing here and then after that just like in that little book that i showed you you have your expense tracker so you have just a bunch of lines and you just write for every day that you spend money or anything you write out what date was what it was uh from where did you pay it so i paid um like was it under this credit card or did it come out straight from my checking account or was it done in cash and then obviously the amount and again what i like about printable planners is that you print however many you need like i said in the first month when i start working it i had like a whole bunch of them filled in and i was like oh my god i can't believe you know like i have so many tiny expenses so then i decided to print you know I, I thought like two would be enough and i think i end up with like three or four so for this month i was like let me do three and then see if it works out uh, i believe in may so far i only have one because i think i end up stealing one from here for that month where i didn't have enough but not to fear right because it's printable so i will just print another one punch it and just put it in here and then it has a monthly budget review and it's again similar to the little planner i was showing you where you have what your balance was from previous month what how much money basically you made how much you spent what your difference was what you put in the savings and what your balance forward is so in this case because this is for the month is what balance you're rolling over into your next month and then again you have similar to that little planner you have what your wins were uh, did you meet your uh, budget yes or no and why or why not uh, what you've learned and what to do next to improve i think it's very important to just kind of like stop and um, think of like why you're doing certain things or not doing certain things and how you can improve it because otherwise you're going to feel like kind of kind of stuck you know in the same place and who wants that and here i just have another to-do list uh, it's just an extra ended up from well, previous month so i'm just going to put it in the back if i need it so pretty straightforward i really like it i like the fact that it's so big i ended up printing it on a thicker paper than usual usual paper that i have at home is 20 pounds i think this is a 24 pound paper uh, i just find it that if i'm gonna work on it um, i want it just to feel nice <laughs> to print uh, on and to write on i don't want it to be flimsy because you know i'll be basically paging through this back and forth for weeks so i really like that and another thing that i decided to use with this is uh, erasable pens so because i'm still getting used to the whole thing and trying to figure out what my categories are and just in general as a person i don't like for my pages to be messy especially the ones that have 
to do with numbers. I don't know, just my thing. Um, so what I have uh, friction, erasable clicker pens. Um, I've had these, I think, for a year or two. One of my coworkers got them for me. Um, I discovered these like a while ago and um, I think I really liked purple one at that point and she heard it and she, so she got this set for me. I also have, have some refills for the black one and I love them because there are all these colors so I mark out different things like I use black basically for everything and then anything has to do with like with the bank I do it with green and if it's something that for example someone needs to pay me back like uh, I paid the bill for my dad and he needs to pay me back or my oldest daughter needs to pay me back for her insurance or whatever um, I do it in red to kind of make it stand out and then like my income I do it with blue you know whatever you choose but of course I like the fact that they are really nice they write really dark but they are also erasable so if I made a mistake or if I want to change up the way I decided to describe a category or dollar amount that I wrote down you know incorrectly I don't have to worry about having white out on me it's just this and yes I know that erasables have the danger of basically disappearing if you leave your book or your notebook in some hot place but I knew that a, these pages will be basically over time thrown away because I'm just working through them. And then on the top of that, this book always stays here. I never take it into the car. So I wasn't worried about my writing, you know, disappearing. I'm not journaling with these. I'm just using them for this budget. Another supply that I'm also using in these pages are highlighters to uh, highlight basically what category is. So as I show you, they were expense tracker pages, right, where you have a lot of expenses written out they're just pages upon pages um, of expenses so what I decided to do is uh, not just me everyone <laughs> does that is that uh, after you write them all out you go through and highlight with the category for example you know all the food is green and um, all the um, I don't know going out is pink and all the entertainment is uh, blue or something like that and then you can add them up by that and put them in those monthly truckers so to do the highlighting thing I decided to use my mild liners as I said I'm trying to use as much as I can of what I already have and since I love my mild liners I have a uh, um, number of them already and I figured they'll be enough for all the categories so I had these three loose ones because they were in the colors that I love forever and ever and then as you've seen from my other videos I have the set of five here these are actually perfect because they're so light these are kind of dark well except this one of course so what I do with these instead of highlighting the amount or word with them I just underline because when you highlight with this kind of a dark color you literally cannot tell what's written under so um, you know my mild liners as I mentioned trying to basically uh, work with what I already have so even though I end up buying some um, printable inserts for uh, the budgeting itself they were I want to say like 350 or five dollars I mean very inexpensive amazingly uh, I already had this cover I already had the insert I already had the paper um, I had my highlighters and I had the pens already so now this last thing that I want to share with you is another new thing to me that I'm trying to get into. I don't know if I will and I will explain you why. So what this is, is actually a cash binder. I know it looks like total zip up planner, which of course I love. Uh, basically, you know, if you look at it, it's a ring planner. Uh, that's all it is. But instead of having personal size inserts, it has cash envelopes. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you do in fact have a personal size planner binder, you can use it for your cash envelopes just by the inserts and put it in. So now this is something I did buy, uh, even though I promised myself not to buy a lot of things for this whole budget venture. But again, this thing was $12. I mean, craziness. Um, so it came as you see it. It uh, It is a zip up, zips really nicely. It is a six ring binder. It comes with a calculator and that's the part that I really liked. It has this little pockets here to have your credit cards in and stuff. Um, my shopping list uh, and like receipts go in here and then it came with a set of envelopes so it came basically with all of this let me open it real quick so yes for $12 you get this binder with a calculator with all the things here and you have a pen loop that I'm not using 
uh, I decided to put pen in here to close better. You have uh, these cash envelopes with like a zip uh, lock. And then you have ones that are designed like this for your extra credit cards. You have other ones for other cash that don't you, you don't often use. Uh, it came with these tabs here. It came with pre-printed categories. And it came with basically budget inserts. I mean, this is straightforward budget sheet inserts here. So I just took a few of them. I didn't need to have all of them in here. I didn't want it to be heavy. And I put it in here. So because this is cash, I don't know if I'm going to stick to it or not. I'm not a cash person. Our society is exceedingly moving away from cash. Um, cash is dirty. You have to go to the bank. I don't like going to the bank. So I decided to use this just for food and eating out because those two categories seem to vary widely and always get out of hand. So I decided that I will use a cash budgeting just for those, ca those two categories and um, see if it helps me uh, save money. Um, I also decided to switch the stores that I'm going to. I uh, used to go to Ralph's or Kroger. Um, we actually have Aldi. Uh, that's recently been opened so I start going there and I will see how that works out they don't have all the items we're used to but we can manage um, again I'm using erasable pen it's also a friction just in a different body and uh, basically I because I've been tracking my expenses for a long time I know about how much I want us to spend a month so I just divided by four weeks and then I just put in weeks worth of cash in here. So here you have food, dining out, cause they don't have like eating out, but same thing. Uh, I keep the coins in the separate ones so they don't like run around in here. And then I have this one personal, I mean, it literally has like $2 probably in here. So this category is just there, kind of like just be there. Um, I'm not gonna have a lot of money in here, but it's just gonna, just in case, couple bucks. And then um, I keep uh, some gift cards that I have. So then I just don't forget that I have them. So I have one from Michaels and H&M. This is just a discount card for my fountain pen. And as I mentioned here, um, those inserts. So there are these monthly budget ones. Uh, very similar, but of course slimmer like the ones that I just show you in both formats. And then you have your um, income. Uh, and basically I just put the cash that I allowed for this time period. Uh, you have your expenses and basically there's just going to be groceries, how much your budget was, how much you spent, plus or minus. And then you basically recalculate here what you're left with. And then, and then on the other side, it has your reminders, basically notes. You can use it for your shopping list if you want. And then you have your budget sheets. And that's like those expense trackers where you're just writing out detailed. And as I mentioned, I will be only using this for food and going out. And um, as you can see, these are just uh, budget sheets and you have like three or four of them. And then you, it repeats again and you have this monthly budget. So. I mean, I think it's an amazing deal, especially if you're in this kind of thing and if you want to try out doing cash. As you can see, it's not big. You can literally take it to store with you and use it as your wallet. There is a space here for all your credit cards. When I went to store, I had a shopping list, which is right here, uh, and I printed fresh copies, so it's always in here. And I didn't just put shopping list, also put uh, how much I used to pay for it in our old store and then how much it cost in our new store. And then, so because I know how much it used to cost in an uh, old store, then no matter which store I go to, I can compare it and see if it's worth it for me or not. So I keep my shopping list in here. And then the receipts, as I mentioned, there is like this white secretarial pocket and I just put them in here. So then I can reconcile my cash later on and know what I have left. And uh, so far so good. Uh, this last shopping, I think I saved like $30, which is amazing, especially if you consider that I'm shopping weekly. And then, so if I can save like $120 a month, that's that's amazing. So we'll see how it goes, wish me luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's a uh, pretty cute again, of course. Uh, I was glad that they had this really cute color. Uh, they have a bunch of these available from different makers, but I like this one. It had like the best inserts that came with it. And of course, I really like that I had calculator. Like if you're in a store, you can basically add up amount as you shop through the store. So then by the time you get to cash register, you you can know what amount you already spent. So you don't end up kind of short on the cash that you have on you. So just something that I think is neat about this one.
So there you have it, some budget planners for you to consider if you've been wanting to go back into budgeting, uh, if you wanted to, you know, shore up your finances or just save money for something really fun or pay off your debt, whatever your priority is in that kind of a thing. Um, I'm really grateful to planner community to having all of these different options available to us. I'm grateful for different manufacturers and makers creating items that are very useful and functional but very affordable at the same time. Of course, over time, you can move on to something different fancier more complex less complex uh, but at least uh, with tools like these that are very inexpensive uh, and um, easily to access at least in the United States you can start with the least kind of pain <laughs> help yourself out with uh, you know your money goals um, if you have any questions please leave me in the comments down below I will link to everything you've seen here in the description and if you like this kind of video please like please subscribe in the comments down below let me know what your favorite budgeting system is or leave me suggestions for your favorite budget youtubers because I'm all into it and I will see you in the next video and until then you take care bye